Okay, if you followed along in the nested VLOOKUP video where we encrypted the message, hello to the message core, this video is going to be much shorter because it's presuming you watched the video, the previous video, where I explained the table over here on the right. Okay, and here basically in this video, we're going to convert this encrypted message core back, hopefully, to hello using nested VLOOKUPs and the decryption table. So this video is decryption using nested VLOOKUPs. Okay, and here we go. So what do we want to look up? This time we're using this table over here as opposed to this one, which just is just a rearrangement of these two columns, the end columns, the numeric column and the translated column basically jumped sides over here okay that's all that's happened okay because this time we're decrypting an encrypted message last time we were encrypting a decrypted message <laughs> okay so here we go in the first uh, for the first letter the plain text to get back we're going to use vlookup we're going to look up the first letter here in the encrypted message we're going to look it up where? Well, in the alphabet, starting with the alphabet column and taking in the numerics column. We're going to lock that table as we always do, our, our table array in the VLOOKUP function. Now, once we get the K, well, it's going to find K. What do we want? Well, we want 10. So if this is column 1 in the table array, for our function, then this is column two. So we're going to simply tell VLOOKUP we want column two, comma, false, and that just means give us an exact match. Now, if I hit enter here, we should get the number 10, and we do. So it found K and it gave me the number next to it, 10. Now, we don't want to stop there. We now want to look up the number 10 in this table, and when we find it, we want VLOOKUP to give us the letter H. And we want the letter H here because guess what? That's what our original letter is. We're decrypting this encrypted message. Okay? Now, in order to do that, we want to do it in the same function. So we're going to nest this first VLOOKUP. So we're going to go between the equal sign and the first VLOOKUP, and we're going to type VLOOKUP again. And this time, open parentheses, our lookup value, which is the first argument in the VLOOKUP function, is the previous VLOOKUP we just did, which we previewed and gave us the number 10. So really, this whole complicated thing here, the first VLOOKUP, for our purposes, is the number 10. So it's as if we're saying VLOOKUP, open parentheses, 10. Okay? Now, the table where we want to look it up, this time is the translated numeric, and I typed in numeric, excuse me. So we highlight these two columns, taking in the alphabet column. I will lock my table array. And this time, when it finds the number 10, ah, when it finds the number 10, I want it to give me H. And so for our table array, this is column one, and this is column two this time. So we're going to tell VLOOKUP to give us the second column. Comma false again, because we want an exact match. Okay, we hit enter, and we should get H. And we do. And we can drag this formula to right, because we put in the appropriate dollar signs. We lock the table arrays, so everything stays steady, except what we want to move which is these guys, these letters, right? Let's fill without formatting. And let's just check one of these letters. Let's check the last O, okay? So, R. So the we look up inside the second V lookup, went over here in this column, went all the way down, found the letter R, okay? Went over then and gave us the number 17. Then the second VLOOKUP took that 17 as its lookup value, 
went into this column, went all the way down to 17, found 17, and when it found 17, went over to the alphabet column and got us the letter O and placed it over here. So we checked H, we checked O, and I've checked all these, they're all correct, and we get back to our plain text message, which was hello. So we decrypted a, an encrypt, encrypted uh, message using nested VLOOKUP functions. So I hope this was edifying for you. I hope you got to get a good look at nested VLOOKUP functions. If you were new to VLOOKUP functions, be sure to watch my video on VLOOKUP. I'll link it in the description and I'll also try to link it in this uh, video. Okay, and if you missed the first part of this video, that part actually had a lot more explanation on what we were doing here. This one was a lot briefer. So make sure to subscribe, comment, share, and thanks for watching. Have a great day.